Hey, what's up my chemistry people? Mr. Boylan here. Let's do some quick practice with the CBR model of the atom. As you take a look at your notes, we're gonna build a couple CBR models of the atom down a group and then across a period. We're gonna take a look first at a couple of atoms in the same group, in this case, sodium and potassium. As I locate those two elements in my periodic table, notice that they are both alkali metals that are in my first group on the periodic table. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a couple of traditional models of an atom of sodium and an atom of potassium. Let's start with sodium, 11 positive protons. So 11 positive protons in my sodium nucleus. I'm not gonna worry about neutrons, it's because neutrons don't have a charge. And in the CBR model of the atom, the core charge is determined based on number of protons and number of inner level electrons. Now, in a neutral atom of sodium, I'm also gonna have 11 electrons. The first two are gonna go in the first main energy level. The next eight electrons will go in the second main energy level. And sodium's 11th and final electron is gonna go in the third main energy level. So that's the traditional model of an atom of sodium. Let's now do the same thing with potassium. Potassium doesn't have 11 protons, it has 19. So 19 protons in the nucleus of an atom of potassium it's also gonna have 19 negative electrons. The first two are in that first main energy level. The next eight are in the second. The next eight are in the third main energy level. And it's 19th and final electron in the fourth main energy level. Okay, now let's talk about creating a CBR model of these atoms. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the valence level from the rest of the atom. And in an atom of sodium, its valence level is the third level. In an atom of potassium, its valence level is the fourth level. To make that a little more clear, I'm gonna highlight everything that's in the cores in green. Boom, core of sodium, core of potassium. As I recreate them in CVR format, I'm gonna still include the valence level. And for each of them, that means one valence electron. Now, the core for sodium. I have 11 positive protons in my nucleus, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 negative electrons in the inner core of my atom. So 11 positive charges, 10 negative charges, which means that my effective core charge or effective nuclear charge is going to be plus one. That is the charge that represents everything I've highlighted here in green. Yeah. Let's do the same thing with potassium. In it, 19 positive protons in its nucleus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 negative electrons. So 19 positive protons 18 negative electrons, which means that the effective core charge of everything highlighted here in green is going to be plus one. So notice that within the same group, the core charges are going to be the same. The number of valence electrons will be the same. However, notice that for sodium, it's the third level that's the valence level, and for potassium, it's the fourth, so that the radius of potassium is larger than the radius of sodium. C, B, R. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at two elements that are in the same period or the same row. We're gonna look now at sodium and argon. Let's recap sodium really quickly. Sodium has 11 positive protons in its nucleus. It also has 11 negative electrons. Now let's take a look at argon. Um, argon has an atomic number of 18 and therefore 18 positive protons. And neutral atoms of argon will also have 18 electrons. Now our next step is to separate the valence level from the cores of these atoms. Again, the valence level for sodium is the third level. The valence level for argon is also the third level. Once again, I'm gonna highlight their cores to make this a little easier. Now, let's create their CVR model. 
Again, sodium is gonna have just a single valence electron. However, argon has eight valence electrons. Now, let's come up with the core charge. Sodium has 11 positive protons, 10 inner level electrons. 11 positive charges, 10 negative charges, plus one core. Argon, on the other hand, 18 positive charges in its nucleus, and 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 inner level electrons. 18 positive charges, 10 negative charges, so an overall core charge here of plus eight. Let's compare. Core charge of sodium plus one, core charge of argon plus eight. One valence electron in sodium, eight valence electrons in argon. However, because we're in the same period, those electrons are in the same valence level. In this case, the third. For both of them. Comes back to Coulomb's law. Notice argon is a much smaller atom than the atom of sodium. Core charge of plus eight, which does a really good job of attracting and holding those valence electrons. Boom, and we are done.